Hey guys, welcome to Music Appreciation. I am so glad to have all of you in this course. I really look forward to getting to know each of you and hearing what you have to say as we explore music through history together. There are a few things that I want to go over about the course to make things really clear for all of you, so please bear with me. First, let me introduce myself. I'm Mrs. Morrison, and I've been teaching music appreciation at MCC since 2006. I really love this course. I love getting to meet students from all across campus and getting to share my craft with them. As you probably can guess, music has always been a big part of my life, and I love it so much, and I'm thrilled with the opportunity to get to share what I know with you. I do hope that you enjoy the course, too. First of all, I want to make things really clear for you. Nobody likes to be confused. So let me go through a few things in the course that I think might help you. First of all, I try to be very detailed in my instructions, which sometimes means a lot of reading. Nobody likes to read a lot, but in an online course, that's just part of it, and it's kind of important. If you ever read the instructions and you still don't understand, please follow up with an email. I promise to respond to you within 48 hours. Usually it's sooner than that. If for some reason you don't receive a response within that time frame, please follow up with another email or a phone call because I am human and I do miss things from time to time even though I try not to. I also have a family, which means for you that I'm not available on the weekends. I generally am available to you via email from 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock in the evening, Monday through Friday. If there's a true emergency or if I am have a really free weekend, you may see me in the course grading or responding, but that's based on my schedule. So please know that I'm available for questions and I always want you to feel comfortable and confident that you know exactly what to do in the course. I also hope to add additional conferencing hours via Zoom, which is an online platform. It's much like FaceTime and can be done on your phone. I'll let you know when I have that all set up and when that's available to you as well. Now let's look at a few things in the course. We're going to start by logging into Blackboard. First, I'm going to my web browser. Using Firefox here, I'm going to the MCC homepage. I'm logging into Blackboard. And on the right-hand side, I'm going to see my course list. Once inside the course, you'll see that most of the items that you need are going to be located on the left-hand side. And any announcements that I have for you will be located in the announcements section. If you need help with logging in to WebAdvisor, Blackboard, or your student email, which is required, you can go to Course Orientation and use the YouTube channel designed by MCC's High School Pathways. And on this YouTube channel, you can find lots of really great links, lots of really great resources for you. If this is your first semester um, taking an online course, I encourage you to look in your course list and under my courses, you'll find that you're all enrolled in a class called Orientation to Online Learning. If you've never taken an online course, please go through the orientation first. This lets you know how to do some vital things in the course. And the expectation is that you already know how to use Blackboard. If you don't know how, don't worry about it. I'm happy to help you after you've taken the orientation. So let's take a look next at the course calendar. In the course calendar, you will find all of the due dates for the semester. You'll want to check the calendar regularly and ahead of time. You'll see all of the due dates for the course are on Sunday or Wednesday at noon. 
If you notice next to the assignment, you'll see 12 p.m., which is 12 noon. If you, for instance, work on Sunday and Wednesday at noon, don't worry, not a big deal at all. You can always turn in your work ahead of time. Don't feel like you have to do it the morning that it's due. You can absolutely work at your own pace. These are just absolute deadlines for work being turned in. And you also will want to review the syllabus for things like late work and point deductions for late work so that you are really clear about that. So this course is designed by unit, and each unit in the book has to do with a time period in music history. As you can imagine, history just happens, and it's not all fair and balanced. So some of our units have more chapters than others. So you'll notice that this course is asynchronous, meaning there are more chapters in one unit than the other. So you'll find that you need to pay close attention to the actual due dates. It's probably designed a little bit differently than other courses you've taken if you've taken other courses online. You'll work in two different platforms in music appreciation. First is Blackboard, which we're in right now. The second is Revel. Revel can be accessed via the menu to the left-hand side. Click on Revel, and then you'll click on the link to open Revel here. Think of Revel like your classroom. Within your classroom, you're receiving the content, the kind of the meat of the course. And in Revel, you'll be able to access the material, the information about composers, as well as all of the music for the entire course. All of the Revel dates are also due on Sunday at noon and Wednesday at noon. And you'll see the Revel calendar is located here, as well as in Blackboard. So should you need to know when something's due, you can always look in Blackboard. All of the dates are there. The Revel-only dates are in Revel. So within Revel, you're basically accessing your book, but also any extra information. And I have gone through and highlighted the text. So if you see something that's highlighted already, that means, hey, guess what? It's important. For each chapter that we'll cover in the semester, you'll see an introduction to the piece, You'll see exploring the piece, and then a listening guide, which is the music, and then a quiz. So there are chapter quizzes. The grades for these quizzes will be transferred into Blackboard, um, and, but you'll also be able to see the quiz grades in Revel. We'll talk about registration for Revel in a moment. Okay, let's take a look at one of the other assignments for the course. I ask that you do a couple of concert reviews. For the concert review, you'll access the approved schedule of concerts. There's a PDF file here. You can open that and find two concerts that you'd like to attend this semester from the approved list. To access the concert review actual assignments, you'll submit them on Blackboard. You'll access the assignment here on the PDF file. And then to turn in the assignment, you'll follow the instructions for submission. Instructions for submission are located at the top of the page under instructions. A critical part of the class is the discussion board. You'll do discussion boards in small groups and you will need to sign up for those. We'll talk about that in a moment. Small group discussions are located again on the main menu to the left under small group discussion. Once you sign up for a group, that's your group for the rest of the semester. I think you'll really like this format. You'll get to know the people in your group and you guys will have a good time talking about the music and the history and um, how you think it's relevant to, today, to today's society. The due dates for the discussion board vary, so please check the calendar carefully. Typically, you'll choose one thread, either A or B, for each discussion board and then you need to post an original response and respond to one student prior to the close of each unit. So for instance, at the end of the Baroque period, you should have completed at least one discussion board thread, one original response, and one response to one student. Again, all of these details are in the syllabus should you need to refer and have a better grasp of what's expected in the discussion board. Be sure you look up what makes a great post so that you receive all of the credit for each unit. The last assignment is a great project. I know everybody loves a great project. This one's really pretty cool. You get to pick a piece off of an approved list again and work on it throughout the semester. It really helps kind of tie in all of the concepts that we talk about during the semester. To access the project assignments, you'll click on Project on the main menu to the left. 
And you'll see that pretty soon you need to have turned in your title selection. In the instructions for title selection here, you'll find that you need to read the final project before you ever get started, before you ever choose a piece of music. You'll want to know what you're looking at, what you're going to be researching, um, so that you can pick the piece that's most appealing to you. I encourage you, and I know it's sometimes hard, but try choosing a piece that you're not familiar with. Try choosing one that's different, that maybe you've never even heard before, or a composer that you've never heard of, but would like to learn more about. You'll find that there are outline due dates throughout the semester. Be sure that you're checking the calendar in Blackboard so that you know when these due dates are. As you work on the outline throughout the semester, you will receive feedback from me and we'll kind of together work on um, really digging deep into a new piece of music for you. Not required, but sometimes desired is extra credit. Under this tab on the left, you'll find extra credit opportunities. You'll see I kind of like extra credit. I think it's important. So you'll find that there are extra credit assignments located in Blackboard and available to you. In addition to the extra credit assignments, you can also attend extra concerts and turn in up to two extra concert reviews. Be sure that you check the syllabus for grading on this so that you know how much you can actually improve your grade just via some extra effort. Okay, guys, you have a few things left. You need to start on some things today. First of all, read the syllabus. I know I've gone through some details now, but it's going to be very important that we kind of enter a contract here. As you open the syllabus, you'll find that I've spent a lot of time compiling a lot of information, and I would really appreciate it if you read through, and then let me know now if something's not clear or you're unsure about a grading system. That way we're all on the same page. After you've read through the syllabus, please get an access code to Revel. Let's go take a look at that again. Under Revel, in order to register, you'll want to watch this video here. You need an access code to have access to Revel. An access code is available in the MCC bookstore and also through Pearson. When you click on Open Revel for the first time, it will first ask you for your for your Pearson ID if you already have one, and then for an access code. If you don't have an access code, you can purchase one with a credit card on Pearson's website. If you're using financial aid, you need to go through the MCC bookstore. If you have a credit card, you can sometimes get a better rate. So after you have your access code, be sure that you're fully in the Revel link you can also download the app on your phone. If you use the app on your phone, you just can go directly to Revel, but if you're using your computer, you access Revel through Blackboard. That's also in the syllabus if you need to refer back to the details on how to access Revel. After you've accessed Revel, then you'll want to go sign up for your small group discussions. Remember, discussion boards are a critical part of the class. Once you sign up in your discussion group, you'll see that there are two introduction um, threads. I would love for you to respond in both just this once. First, you'll introduce yourself, and then you'll have a lively group discussion about why we study music. Why is that important? I encourage you to go ahead and post in these threads because you don't have to have any background information. This is all just opinion. You don't have to go do any reading or any work. Just post your opinion in the small group discussion. You'll see coming up soon is the title selection for your project. You'll need to turn in the title by the due date. After you've completed these preliminary things, you'll then start work in Revel. Remember, you can access the due dates for Revel on Blackboard and Revel, but all of the due dates for the course are available on Blackboard. If there's anything that's unclear or you're unsure or you're not quite grasping how the course is laid out, please let me know. I have found that once we get started, everything seems to kind of flow and make a lot of sense once you get in the course. But always, I'm available for questions. Again, I really look forward to the semester and I'm so glad to have you all in class. Have a great day.